On the high efficiency furnace, one of the nice things is that you can use Schedule 40 PVC or ABS pipe to make your venting connections because the flue gases are at a lot lower temperature compared to the 80% efficient furnace where you typically have a 4 inch metal connection at the top of the furnace. These are a 2 inch connection that would run through your furnace for your flue gases. That pipe would slide through our gasket and be drawn into our vent motor assembly. On the other side is your fresh air intake. By using the two pipe system the furnace operates at the most quiet uh, operation and they also include from the factory a little guard for your fresh air intake to make sure that debris and whatnot is being drawn into the furnace and that would be caught by the screen and not fall down during the operation. It's very critical to have your venting done properly and have the proper slope the slope needs to be at least a quarter of an inch per foot upward away from the furnace and as you're running your vent pipe through here you need to go up at least 12 inches out of the top of the furnace before making any turns. This will make sure that the pressure switches remain closed and that the furnace continues to operate and give you a trouble free operation. The high efficiency furnace has a primary and a secondary heat exchanger and one of the byproducts is condensation. This is your condensation pan right here and attached to it is your condensate drain hose. It comes from the factory located to the left, but you can also go to the right just by adjusting it and reclamping it. However, the drainage is another thing that besides your venting is very critical to make sure that the furnace remains operating and running properly. That moisture needs to be taken away and typically it goes through the side of the furnace and if you're doing air conditioning it would run into that same connection or the pipe that gets rid of the moisture from your A-coil. Making sure that the condensate does not back up will again keep the furnace working properly and you have several safeties on the furnace that monitor operation uh, to make sure that everything is safe. If a problem would occur the design is that it will shut the furnace down and the control board will emit a flash code to indicate the type of problem that you're having. This is your junction box where the main power will come in. So you will be running your 120 volts into the side. If for some reason your power comes from the opposite side, again, you have a knockout and screw holes that will reconnect your junction box over here. And from the factory, the power wires come loose so that they can accommodate either location. The black wire would be your hot wire and the white wire is your neutral. Inside the junction box is your green grounding screw where you'd want to make sure that you've got a good solid ground so the furnace continues to operate without any problems.